Right guys, we're going to have a look at the new chassis for these two Poundland cars in the same series, the Urban Blazers but now that I've bought these two I find they had a different sized floor pan it's narrower, it's got smaller wheels and they're all different to my chassis that works on the other cars on these ones so this is the new chassis I'll swap the pieces out with this one to go in there. Hmm, that's a thought. I was just going to swap them straight across. But these are smaller wheels. And they're about two millimetres shorter or smaller diameter. Hmm. In that case, I won't swap the pieces out with this one. I'll pinch the pieces out with this one and rebuild this from scratch. Just to give you a rough idea. I'll go on there with gear on there. That gear on a suitable motor. I had one laying around there somewhere, don't know what I've done with it. No. Oh, there it is. Simple motor. That sits in there. That goes on there. And somewhere in the pile here. Oh. I need to rig it up like that. That's actually not the right one. So that's slightly too wide. That's the new one. It's just that bit narrower. I'll have to clean those holes out a little bit. I won't do any more than that. We'll come back when it's all finished. The stub axles that go in there, I use these nails, are convenient. So that means when they are in there, they can't slip all the way through because the head holds them in place. Obviously it goes through from that side. Right, and the wheel goes on there. So I'll cut them to fit. Right, there'll be a slight delay to finishing this one. I need to reprint the, where are we, the gear. Because that one's got a bit of a elephant's foot on it, as they call it. So it's spread a little bit. So I'll reprint that before I put it on the back axle. I'm looking at the steering and I think we're possibly just okay, but I think we could have gone forwards one more millimetre in the chassis, move the wheels just that little bit further forwards. I'm also thinking possibly the back could do with going forwards another millimetre. So maybe just move the back pegs. A millimetre back that push everything forwards a bit possibly but we'll print the gear first see if we can get it running and then we'll worry about reprinting the chassis right 
freshly printed gear without the uh, elephant's foot on it. So that should be okay. Try it for size first before we put everything else in place. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do a version two of this chassis, move the wheels forwards a little bit. Okay, Let's see if we can get all the other bits in there because there's less space there now in this version. Will my battery fit just? Oh, that should be all right. That's the only bit that's awkward. See if I can wrap that wire around the servo out of the way. Be a little bit less wire floating around, getting in the way. Obviously, if you were going to do this properly, then you'd actually fix all this in place. But as I'm whipping it in and out and changing it around, I'm just using blue tack to hold it all in place. on the bodywork there and that that's annoying so yeah we will be doing chassis version 2 actually that's all right if I hold it in place yeah if I hold it in place, it's all right. I think that's because it's spreading the body a little bit. Well, I won't cut this. I'll print a new chassis. Yeah, that all needs to come forwards a bit. We'll give it a little run on the floor anyway. Huh. 
body works coming loose. It's lifting up on the front. I don't know if that's visible in the camera. Yeah, it's, it's not such a tight fit on those little pillars as it is with the other ones. A little bit of blue tack just to stop it coming loose. Could put screws in there, but I'm not going to. As long as I don't give it full power, it's quite all right. With those plastic tires. Yeah, that works. I guess we ought to try it in the other body shell. I was in Poundland again today and these were the only ones left, this colour, or this version. There was none of the other ones. Well, same fit, that's good. Same loose fit, I'm dropping out again. I suppose I could make those holes a little bit smaller so they're tighter fit.
jumps up off the back, isn't it? Still, it works, apart from the fact that's just jumped off there. So a bit of blue tack at the back to hold it in place, and that'd be fine. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.